What's up everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for taking the time to hang out. And in this video, we're talking a little bit about light, specifically the Moin L1 LED light by Murfac. So going all the way back to CES 2019 in Las Vegas, I had the opportunity to work with the great people from Goodson Moza. Just a disclaimer, this product is made by Goodson, the parent company that owns Moza. So they have hired me in the past, so we have our relationship. I just figured I'd give you the heads up on that. But I've been playing with this LED light for a couple months now, and it's actually been very, very useful for me, and it might be for you. So the Moin L1, it's a six LED light, and I'm actually using it right now. That's why you see a little bit of shadow on my left side. I do have natural lighting coming in the room, and I'm actually pretty much digging the quality that I'm getting. Uh, I'm using the Moin L1 as a fill light in this situation, but if this was a very dark environment, this would become my key light, my main light source. So I would pretty much move it from this location all the way to this location so I get that same direction. And I also have some ambient light in the background. I do have a lamp pretty much shining light in the background. That way it lifts everything up and we minimize the noise in the background, especially when recording with your smartphone. The front facing camera is definitely not the best camera, but it's the most practical because you can frame your shot, you can see how everything looks, and it's just practicality. I'm a huge fan of it. The Moin L1 will set you back $59.99, about $60, give or take, and I feel that's a fantastic price when you compare all the different light bulbs in the industry right now. Now, this is a Bluetooth compatible light bulb, so actually you can hook up up to six simultaneously or independently just to one smartphone with the Murfac app. You could use just the one, but you have up to six that you can simultaneously connect on their application, which is awesome. Their application allows you to adjust the color temperature, the intensity, but on top of that, you also have a strobe and an SOS option, which is really cool. The Moin L1 is waterproof. It's IP68 rated, which is really cool if you're trying to take shots underwater or you're outdoors and it starts to rain, there's waterfalls, there's drizzle, and you wanna capture that moment, this could be a really good solution since it's water resistant, along with most smartphones nowadays. If you have a small tripod or if you have a cold shoe mount in your camera setup, uh, you might be able to include this in the shot and it will be a really well lit, uh, very useful tool for those type of situations. Now on top of filming, I really like the fact that you can hook this up to your drone and take photos of course and light the shot, use it as a kind of like a security uh, and visual aid type of situation, not only for the shot, but actually for you to be able to see your drone uh, from a distance, which is really cool. And Honestly, since it's magnetic, I was even able to use it in the kitchen. I took this light to Big Bear a couple months ago when I stayed in a cabin there. The kitchen set up on this cabin didn't quite have a light over the range. Like if you were using the stove during the nighttime, it was very, very dark. So I actually slapped the Moin L1 under the microwave and I was able to see what I was cooking, which was really interesting. And it was completely unplanned. I went to Big Bear, I had the light, I said, let's bring it over and record some B-roll of it and do some basic tests. But we encountered that situation where there was no light over the kitchen range. So you can attach this to a lot of different surfaces, not only a kitchen or a refrigerator, but you could also mount it on a car, you could also mount it on a helmet. Depending on the type of situation, I really enjoy the fact that you can just simply attach it. And I do have shelves in my apartment, and my method of storage is actually hooking it up to the little area where the screw is exposed in my shelving. So that's where it sits all the time. Super cool, it's out of the way. Uh, and you can use it in a lot of different applications, not only for photography and video, but also from security and accessibility, which is really cool. I really enjoy that feature. Underneath the Moin L1, you'll have a quarter inch screw mount, which is awesome because not only you can use it like I'm actually using right now 
on a tripod. Let me show you. So you can virtually mount this on top of any tripod, but also you can use a double-sided screw to mount it on the Moza Mini Me, which is one of my favorite gimbals for vlogging and capturing inception shots. And because that gimbal does 180 degrees, you'll be able to use the rear camera and have it face your way. Or if you wanna use the front facing camera, you can easily attach it on top. And because the back is magnetic, so is the charger. It reminded me a lot of the MagSafe adapters on Mac computers because it just magnetically attaches to the back of the light and it's USB. So you'll be able to charge it with your computer. You'll be able to charge it on a portable battery backpack. And battery wise, you'll be able to go all the way up to 10 plus hours if you're using it at 2% light. You have pretty much five levels of brightness on this thing, so it's really, really awesome. If you're using 100% brightness, you'll be able to get about two hours of constant lighting and about 40 minutes if you're going above to the max setting, which is pretty awesome. 40 minutes, that's usually more than enough uh, for me to record this type of videos without the light going away on me, which is awesome. Included in the packaging, you will find a ring adapter, but then on top of that, you have a little diffuser. It's kind of like a white filter. So if I were to remove that filter, this is the type of light that you will get. And it's a little bit harsher and it gets incredibly brighter. So that's why we like to put that little filter on it. Oof. So you get a little bit softer, a little bit more diffusion, but you could use just that light without the filter. Now, right now I'm using the light at max settings. So this is without the filter. This is max setting with the filter adapter. It's a little bit softer in the skin, a little bit less harsher light. And this is with no light at all, just natural lighting in the environment and just pretty much that light that I have in the ceiling lighting my back wall. But other than that, I really, really like the fact that that brings up a lot of the shadows on my left side since more of the light in this room is coming from my right. And when we bring back the Moin L1, we definitely have a little bit better feel, a little bit more detail in the face, which is really, really cool. And then of course, a very important spec is that it goes way above 1000 lumens. So it's really bright, really useful, very small and very consistent. So overall, a fantastic and affordable tool that I feel could definitely impact a lot of you when you're out and about creating with your smartphone, not only using it as a standalone unit, but also attaching it to a gimbal like the Moza Mini Me or just pretty much any other gimbal. But I want to know what you think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them down there so we can continue to create relevant content for you. If you found this video useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and a sub. Once again, thank you so much for taking the time to hang out. I'll catch you on the next one.